Good morning, everybody. I am tired today. Oh, I wanted to sleep in till like noon, sitting in the air conditioning, but we got to get stuff done. We're pretty much down to cabinetry and finish work, uh, little, little things. Hopefully my buddy Hickory can help me build some cabinets and we'll get this thing done here pretty quick. That's getting old. Been here uh, two weeks today. Today's 14 days. I got here a day from tomorrow, yesterday. I got here two weeks yet tomorrow. Uh, I, I can't even think straight. So let's get going, see what we can do today. Most most things are done if we can just get if I could just get some cabinetry and get that finish work done and we'll be out of here. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's see if we can't get this door panel on here this morning. Somehow it ended up a little little Yankee, but again, it's just a it's just a door panel to keep the insulation in. I'm not going to redo it for a little screw up right there. It's fine. Nothing but me will see it really. And it's like I said, just hold the insulation in. And I can't hold like that very well, can I? Oh, it's sliding, guys. This is stuff you need two hands for. As soon as it was... I got to get my kneeling pad. Getting old, folks. Need to get one screw in it. Why? I don't understand why it's moving as soon as I start drilling. I didn't have any problems whatsoever with the other one. Let's try the bottom. Why did that one go right in? And the top one wouldn't. It's going to be that day, guys. I can tell. Can't find the screw hole now. That's it right there. Okay, we got one in. Messed up the carpet a little bit. I don't see any of that either. Wow, it's humid today. Thing says 80%. So much for yesterday's nice 45. Oh, and the thing moved on me. Or did it? There's the hole. All right, let's get a couple more in here and call it good. I put a little glue behind that. Oh, huh, I went back down. 
Put a little glue behind that, it'll be all right. And let's do one at the top. Yards really, I know I think I said in yesterday's video or put it on in print, but this van, it was extremely loud when I bought it. I mean, it, you couldn't hear anything when you were driving. Now, yesterday I had uh, the engine we're going. The side door wide open, and I couldn't even hear it in the video. It's going to be a lot quieter driving. Okay, let's get to uh, some more projects. I couldn't do this in real, in real time. It was way too boring. Like 11 minutes of me... Complaining, it's hot, humid, nasty. The cut is messed up, but we'll see what happens when I put it into the bed platform. I'm going to have issues when that comes around as well. But, eh, I'd much rather have that carpet underneath the bed than not. I wasn't going to do it originally, but... It'll protect the mattress. It, it'll hurt the airflow a little bit, but and it, it looks better, less dust and, and stuff, and easier to keep nice. So we're just going to go ahead and through this and be all set. That marker. I bought a darn... What I thought was just a regular Sharpie. It didn't say anything on the box. But instead of a felt tip, it was like the little metal pointed tip. I don't know why you would sell that at a hardware store. I don't really see what good it would be. Maybe on, on wood, but I don't think it really would write on wood. It just, oh, well, live and learn. I looked at the box a second time. And again, it just said a permanent marker. But all right, let's get this cut so we can try to get it into the van before it rains. Clouds are looking pretty bad to the west. Couldn't find a straight edge, so I just had to freehand it. That's all right. But with the cut, I'm going to run into issues in a minute. What do you think of my new kitchen? It's my buddy Hickory's kitchen. He's building it, and it's beautiful. Oh, we got called because of rain. I don't know how long it's going to rain, but it's raining. I just was going to start working on the sink project. I had it all measured out and figured out, and now it's raining pretty good. So I don't know. I may run into town. I'm going to look at the radar, decide, but... Right now, guys, we are on hold.
Okay, so rain for a good hour or a half, two hours. I let it dry up a little bit. I bet I made another window cover for the uh, passenger rear door window. Yeah, I put the magnets on it just like I did yesterday. It's uh, drying. Uh, I wired up that switch for the diesel heater. Now I'm going to try to put the sink together. It looks like it's getting ready to rain again. But uh, So this is just a buffet pan. It's big. It's a big, a nice big sink. So uh, I'm just going to drill a hole. Then I bought some uh, bath sink stuff. And I'm hoping that uh, it'll turn out okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't a buffet pan. I, I sent that back. This is actually a stainless steel litter pan. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. I bought a buffet pan, but it was so thin and, and cruddy, it was all dinged up. So I sent it back. And then uh, I found this online. So it is a stainless steel litter pan. Oh, man. All right. A little blue goo on there to lubricate. And this bit's going to be gone. Not going to. This stuff is uh, not going to do it. Nope, it's not going to cut through stainless steel. This cruddy set I bought. It is literally not, it didn't even cut the stainless steel. It just wore the teeth right off of that bit. It dented it and heated it up was all it did. The drill bit went right through. I wonder if I use a drill bit. None of my drill bits are with crud. And just drill, 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 drill. Bunch of holes through it. See if I have one drill bit that'll work. Yeah, this was a uh, set of hole saws from Harbor Freight. Yeah, Harbor Freight tools are garbage. They, they, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you're going to tell me, oh, I have stuff and it's been, you know what? It's garbage. Everything I bought there has not worked at all. Every, every, everything I bought there has been crap. Excuse my language, but it's... I mean, the first hole saw bit went through one, got one hole in the roof, and then that was it. Uh, they 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 barely been going through wood, but they're supposed to do everything. Nope, my drill bit won't even. That's another one, Walmart, the Heart brand. Don't buy it. 
spend a few extra dollars and get something that works. Well, somehow yesterday I got through two holes in the van floor with the one, one hole saw bit. Well, it can't hurt to keep going. You know, wear it down. Yeah, this lube, blue lube goo the guy sold me, it, not the best stuff either. All I'm doing is making smoke. That's the wood below it. All right, well, the wind is, uh, is changing. I think it's about getting ready to rain. So I'm going to stop it here again, get everything covered up before the rain comes. So we'll, I'll try to think of something to do with this. All right, we'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm trying to get any little projects I can before starts thunderstorming again i got under the van and put the the high temp gasket material around the uh, diesel heater inlet and exhaust pipes so i'm going to try to get this curtain track up i wanted to put it in front of the seats but it would leave too much of a big gap somehow go like this okay that clicks in there like that and pull that to take it out all right let's see if we can get these up here hey, it gets really dark windy and then it kind of lightens up a little bit just doesn't know what it wants to do This one, I can't. I'm not going to be able to get that back there. The last track will have to go right here. How many do I got now? That is the question. I think seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, so there are eight. I would have thought they, if, I would like nine. One on the ends and then, you know, even in the middle. I don't know. That's just me. Well, put these up and soon I'm try to figure out how to get the track up there. Yeah, it would have been cool to have them go, like, right at the windows, but I just couldn't get, there. it'd be, end up being big gaps on the sides, so, oh, well, we'll just have a lot of curtain.
But the whole door just won't stay shut with that wind. Now, how close are we? We are like that. And of course the screw fell. Oh, you want to talk about humidity now after that rain? Let me tell you. I'm going to put more on the ends because when we're driving, all that curtain is going to. Be on the, you know, right behind the, the two seats. So we're going to put kind of more on the ends. I got eight, or not, yeah, eight of them, so I think we'll be fine, but put them a little closer together on the ends. You know, when this magnetic thing only works when you don't want it to. If you're trying to get into a screw that's hard to reach, oh, then the magnet wants to stick to the screw every time. But if you're trying to hold on to a screw, this is no thank you. All right, so oops, that's not really tight. Okay, we got 31 inches. I got four, seven, and three quarters. Each that's pretty close, seven and three quarters each. They don't have to be perfect. Well, the track should hold them from twisting. There's a second screw hole. There's a second hole in these, but you can't get to it because of the little locking mechanism. I wish I could put two screws in there. I'd feel much better about this. But here's what it is, right? So now we're going. Oh, what about those dots? No, that ain't right. Well, too late now. No, we'll do this. Seven, three quarters this way. Gets me to that thingy. Fourteen and three quarters, so I do fourteen divided by three, four. All right, I'm just gonna wing it. I don't care. There's a bum load of them up there.
I had a sandwich this morning. I'm not feeling all that well after eating that sandwich. Probably the heat. Yeah, it looks pretty close. <laughs> Well, I end up putting them closer together in the middle. It is what it is, right? Now, how in the heck am I going to cut this is the question. I don't know if my heavy duty scissors will cut that. Oh, let's see. We'll get them, see what happens. I can hear that window on the camera. Might have to score it, take it back out and cut it. Probably the easiest, but we'll see. My scissors are actually cutting. Them. <clears throat> oh. Okay, we got her cut. Put a bend in this here. <clears throat> Problem is the bend is forward. And that's the way I need to rotate the track to get it into a clip. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put on all the little thingies, go find my, uh... oh yeah, that's solid, go get my uh, curtain and we'll hang it up. Okay, so I had an epiphany. The uh, magnets weren't strong enough, and they also weren't really holding to the carpet. So I ended up cutting a second piece of carpet, and I'm going to sandwich them with uh, some reflectics inside of it. So I laid the uh, first one down, glued it, glued reflectics. Now here's the second one, all glued up, and it's windy. So, of course, it's not going to do what I want it to do. Put it down quick. Stuff's tacky. Try to get it moved over. And I made the new one just a little bigger, so uh, we have maybe have a little better window coverage. Then I, I find somebody who's got a sewing machine or something. I can sew the ends and make it even look a little better. But the carpet is almost just like Velcro. And the, you know, the soft part of the Velcro. I had, I saw some uh, Velcro tabs in my tool kit. And I'm like, bingo.
So, we're gonna let this one sit overnight. Pretty heavy. It's the only problem. Might be, might be too heavy. But right, we'll see what happens overnight. Can't, you know, what the heck. If it holds, it's gonna work great. I've got 12 tabs, two windows. I put four up. If I need to go two more, hold them. Let's let's see what happens. We'll, we'll check it out in the morning. But yeah, I think yeah, this one may be the winner. And that's uh, that'd be some pretty good R value right there. I almost doubled up the Reflectix. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's probably, well, the Reflectix isn't, doesn't weigh anything. It's the carpet. Okay, we'll see what happens. Let it dry overnight. Well, here it is. I ended up putting Velcro almost all the way around the window. It was holding up pretty good with eight tabs, just these little one by one squares. But around the bolts, it wanted to stick out a little bit and it, it wasn't as tight as it needed to be, and I had a whole roll. So the panel, right up there like that. I've got so much Velcro up there, I don't want to stick this up right now. Because I, the glue's still wet, and I don't want it to uh, come apart when I would try to take it off. Because like I said, I've got a lot of Velcro up there right now. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do the other. I, I don't want to do the other one right now because, first off, the sun's beating down on everything, and, I'm, and it's super hot and humid. And I want to make sure it works before I cut up another one. So we'll take it for a test drive, things like that. Just make sure it's not too heavy. With all the Velcro I've got, there's no way it's coming down. But it, the other one, just with just one single ply of carpet, I, again, I'm going to have to recut that one, in the so it's going to be a while. But hey, guys, thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and liking. It helps out the channel. And as always, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you on tomorrow's episode of Jelly Bean Outdoors. What are we going to build tomorrow? We'll see.